Hello and welcome to My Digital Quill. We are looking at a worksheet called Indenting in our chapter on Alignment Tools and we see some text in column A. Notice how in row 4 and 5 the text appear not aligned but sort of in the middle. Same thing in row 9, 10 and 11. This gives a bit of an accounting touch to the worksheet and is necessary for the document of similar nature. This is indenting data to your requirements and we'll briefly review this in today's video. We want to avoid typing leading spaces in such documents, firstly because most of the time it does not align with our text formation, but also does not produce the professional display you're looking for in the document. What we've got in effect here is a feature to rescue you in such cases called indenting. Let me use this in some cells for display, starting in row 16 through 29. Now let's just simply take these cells right here and to offset. To emphasize the idea that they're expenses, let's just shift all these to the right. We do this with indent button and it's found in the home tab under the alignment group in the ribbon menu system. Increase the indent. I'll click it once. Watch the text from A16 to A29 move to the right. We could move it again to the right and to shift it even further down or maybe it's too far, we'll move it back. So it's easy to adjust and of course it has uniform appearance. These columns here from A4 to A5 have been moved to the right. Let's just move this back a little bit. Or maybe further down up. So you see how easy it is to use these instead of leading spaces? exactly why you shouldn't use the leading spaces in similar case in word document as well we use the tab key there or indenting in the paragraph group well perhaps a topic for another day there's another interesting aspect to this too that you might occasionally have need for in this particular worksheet i'm going to make column b c and d considerably wider now we might be wanting to do this if you're dealing with larger numbers Let's say we're using this sheet as a basis for another division which have bigger numbers than the regular ones. Now there's nothing truly wrong with these dollar signs the way they look, but notice how the indent button will move the dollar signs to the right a little bit. And back, same way. Now there's possibly another format we could be using to do this, but this too has occasionally used that, that might make sense. So primarily, indenting most of the time, we use it for the text. We saw how it was used in column A. And I adjusted the data here in row 16 to 29. Indenting left to right, an easy feature to get to, found in the alignment group in the home tab under the ribbon menu system. Please access the exercise file in the description below to maximize your learning experience with us. And please subscribe to this channel to stay updated on our ongoing Excel series. Thank you and have a good one.